For me, going into weaving and textiles, it just happened organically. When I first moved to LA, I was working like 12 hours every day, but I still wanted to just come home and weave. I think when you're really passionate about something, it, it just falls into place. I've been working in the fashion industry for 10 years. I had a lot of different jobs from sourcing to accessories design, but I've been a full-time artist for a year. I think when I start pieces, like I get excited about a color or a material, and I just start with that. My process is very simple. It's the most basic kind of weaving, but for me, it's the materials that get me excited. I like high contrast, so like soft with maybe plastic or shiny and rustic. This fiber comes from a woman on Etsy, and this is alpaca. Every time I get fiber from her, it comes with a picture of the animal and the name. I really look a lot to like that mid-century textile movement. This book is like my favorite book in the world. It will blow your mind. My boyfriend Robert is a welder and a carpenter, and one day I came home and he had welded all these arrows. He had the idea like, you should attach one of your weavings to an arrow. That's become like a signature element of my work. These are our bronze keychains. We patina them and then we have a little leather tag. We came up with this really simple loom. I sand these by hand in the backyard. <laughs> I made this little booklet. So this just is like a little primer to get people started and to think about it. For so long, I really, I've always wanted to be on my own and just be doing my own business. And now that I'm finally doing it, it comes with a whole new set of anxieties and pressures, but I feel really grateful that I get to do it every day. Yeah.